Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. So for today's video we are reviewing for the very very first time Beauty Bay's new SPF product launch. Yes, so incredibly exciting because this product literally dropped this week and it's from Beauty Bay's own skincare line. And I've been a fan of Beauty Bay's skincare line for nearly two years now ever since they dropped their own skincare line and you know what? The products are really really good. I'm not tried all of them in their range however what I have tried they have been really really great products and uh, their selection just continues to expand and also they are incredibly incredibly affordable and this product which I have in the palm of my hands sealed and ready to be opened is just kind of like the icing on the cake for Beauty Bay skincare line it really just helps to kind of be so much more accessible to consumers but because remaining that affordable price point, whilst also having all of the products on offer to have a really good solid routine. And this new SPF launch, yeah, like I said, it's just the icing on the cake, or you could say the cherry on the top. <laughs> and so Beauty Bay's SPF 50 actually retails at eight pound. Yes, not 18 pound or 80 pound, eight pound pound which is just absolutely incredible like i said before it remains that really affordable price point just exactly what beauty bay's skincare line is all about they're also vegan and cruelty free as well so yeah just absolutely fantastic especially if that kind of you know ticks your boxes anyway but this spf says it's suited for all skin types so it'll be really interesting to kind of see and test out the consistency how it feels on the skin if it's greasy or not and especially does it it leave a white cast and of course I am very pale so I can't really kind of like give the best description in terms of a white cast or not I mean there are so many sunscreens out there that do give me a white cast or kind of give that like silvery purple ish look um, but if you do have a darker skin tone and you've tried this product out please please do let me know because I'd be really interested to know kind of like the wearability on on all different skin tones, not just mine. My skin is in its fourth week of using tretinoin right now. So my skin type has definitely changed. It's a lot more drier, it's peeling at times. Um, and of course it's quite red and sensitive as well. So yeah, I think that um, this is gonna definitely be put to the ultimate test, um, especially in terms of that anyway. But yeah, I usually have combination skin, so I'm not really after products or after sunscreen products that are uh, really thick, really greasy, and just kind of like gives me that seal look. Like I'm not really like seal, you know, that <laughs> I'm not really after that. I'm kind of after just a glowy, dewy look without feeling heavy, you know, because I've kind of got oil anyway. But because, like I said, my skin type has changed quite dramatically, it'll be interesting to sort of see see what this product's about. And so before I open this product and start applying it onto my face, let's have a look at the side of the packaging very quickly. So it says a broad spectrum SPF 50 lotion with UVA, UVB protection, perfect for soothing the skin whilst protecting from sun exposure and air pollution. Wow, very, very interested, especially at eight pound. So then, okay. Basically, it looks super, super similar to kind of like the, you know, the serums, the, it's very on point with the Beauty Bay skincare marketing, um, but it actually also does remind me of kind of like the Vichy Capital Soleil um, SPF 50, which is absolutely incredible, but that usually retails around 18 to 20 pounds. So yeah, you're definitely getting a lot more for your money, especially because this is 50 mils as well. Well, I also think the Vichy is 30 mils, but I really am expecting like the same consistency, um, just because it is in this pump style bottle. What? Oh, yeah, so it's pretty much the same consistency, very runny, which oh, pleases me so much because that is exactly like my one of my favorite sunscreens, which is the Vichy Capital Soleil. So I'm just gonna apply this amount to begin with, but obviously I will apply a lot more. So it doesn't really smell of anything, like there's no sort of like fragrance that's popping out at me or anything like that. It feels incredibly lightweight and because it is that fluid, it really is 
it, yeah, so basically when you think of the consistency is like the La Roche Posay and Felios Shaka fluid or the um yeah, the Vici um or the Garnier um the Garnier Solaire one which is kind of like the anti dark spot anti pollution one. It the consistency is very, very similar. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more. <laughs> when you say a little bit, well, you know, it is sunscreen at the end of the day. So it's really not feeling kind of greasy. It doesn't feel chalky or anything, um, but I can definitely tell it's, it's not sort of like mattifying my skin. It's not really, um, you know, quickly absorbing into the skin. But it definitely spreads very, very well. I always find a good sunscreen never kind of like pills or or like clunks up around the facial hair. So I'll zoom in once I've kind of blended it all in a little bit. But I can actually sort of see a slight white cast, especially around here. So it has been around 10 minutes now and I've just let the sunscreen product settle onto my skin. You can definitely tell that I have sunscreen on my face. Um, it's definitely kind of giving that glowy sort of, you know, the glowness vibes, which is not really that uncommon for a sunscreen product. Um, but you can definitely tell a slight purplish, purplish silverish tint around here. Um, if I do zoom in. So yeah, zooming in you can definitely see that the sunscreen product is kind of like clinging onto my facial hair. Um, even, you know, kind of like rubbing it in. It's not really going anywhere. Yeah, which is definitely a shame because I do like to have a stubble quite a lot of the times. But you can see, you know, on the areas where I don't have any um, facial hair, it's actually just really giving my skin a lovely dewy look. There's kind of like no white cast there. Um, and it feels quite light on the skin as well. And so in terms of like wearability of this product, it doesn't feel greasy and it doesn't really feel that heavy or anything like that. It does have like quite like a little bit of a slip to it. However, definitely not as powerful as the uh, Perito Daily Go To Sunscreen. It's kind of in the middle of the Vici Capital Soleil Sunscreen to the kind of like the beauty of Joson Rice and Probiotic Sunscreen. Kind of like merge those two together and then you've kind of got this product. But yeah, in terms of like the white, slight white castness and the clumpiness around the facial hair. Um, it's definitely down to the mix of the chemical and also the physical filters. And it's got some really fantastic next generation physical and chemical filters in this product, which is really, really gonna protect your skin. So absolutely fantastic protection value um, in this product. But obviously, you know, sometimes that has its little drawbacks and, and it's not kind of that adaptable to different skin types and, and you know, sort of different, skin textures. Anyway, since I've come back on camera after applying the sunscreen product, I feel like it's settled down a little bit more, which is great. And I feel less silvery, um, but you know, it's still there and I'll be really interested to see how this layers in a couple of hours once I do another application, um, how it feels on the skin. Is it kind of feeling quite greasy? Um, but overall, I, I'm actually really happy with this product. I feel like it will be really, really great with a baby smooth skin and no facial hair. Um, so limited uses, but it's still incredible protection and has an incredible price point nonetheless. Anyway, I really do hope you've enjoyed this video on the first impressions of Beauty Bay's new SPF 50 product. Please don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up and also subscribe down below. And I will catch you next week for a brand new video. See you later, bye bye.